So I'm going to give you an option for running um, MySQL on your PC or laptop for this class. And I'm going to start by doing, I eh, can't type, Google search for MySQL on Windows, or just MySQL Windows. And that brings up the MySQL installer. There's a whole lot of reading to do here, but basically this thing is going to install everything that you need to, so we'll just go with that. Um, there are two ways to install. You can download the installer um, and then install offline, or you can just do it through the web. So I'm going to do it through the web and download the community version. It's going to ask you for a login, which I'm not going to give. I'm just going to go start my download. Save it. And then here we go. I'm going to run this. Normally I wouldn't go through an install, but this thing takes a little bit of work. Basically what you're going to do is just say, yes, give me everything and use your default options. Okay. Um, so we want to add, no, I can't, shoot, I can't go back. Um, let me try this, do this again. Okay, so these are, I actually have already installed uh, MySQL once. So these things are already installed and I didn't uninstall those. Um, what I wanna do is add some things in. Your list is probably gonna be empty. So you wanna add things. And here's where it's um, kind of a pain, I think. It just seems like there should be an option to add in everything. Uh, but there's not, so I'm going to add in a 64-bit version of the server, the workbench, the notifier. Ah, I'm just going to add in everything they got. Seems like a good plan. Well, apparently, I can't do that one. Okay, so I don't have Visual Studio, so I can't add that one in. Fine. Um, Stop. Oh, you know what? I'm not I'm selecting these things, but I'm not popping them over here. So this needs to go over there. Uh, this needs to go over there. I need the notifier for updates. Uh, sure. Take some of that. Connectors. Do we want connectors? Yeah, we want connectors. Connect to C++. Sure, we could do some C++ programming. C++ programming. This is for Java. Yeah, you know, we might do some Java programming. Who knows? Python. Yeah, we better do some Python programming. Um, now, let's see. I have Python 3.3 installed, so, um, but I already have that connector installed. Um, So, okay, let's go ahead and add all those in and install. And, okay. Yeah, I want to go ahead and do that. So, it's complaining because it doesn't have Microsoft Visual C 2013. Um, it's going to attempt to fix those. That would be nice if it does that for me. So let's go ahead and give it a give it a shot. Execute. So ignoring all warnings, going with the defaults, and installing installing as much as I possibly can. That's my motto. We're gonna go with that, and I'm gonna pause while we're making progress. This is gonna take a minute. All right, complete. It's ready to configure. Um, let's see what are our options. Well, machine, let's go with that. Okay, we need a current root password. So, I'll make mine simple. Yep, it's weak, and I don't care. We can add a user. Um, 
if we want at this point. Right now, I'm just going to be just keep the root user, and then we're going to add users another way. So, um, do you want to start it? Start up? Well, I mean, it's going to slow your computer down a little bit because you're just going to have another service running when you start your computer up. Eh, it's good for me. Um, And then it's going to do all those things. I don't think this is going to take very long. So I'm going to pause just yet. And finish. Configuration complete. Don't care about the logs. All right. So now my SQL is set it up. We need to do something else. So with most database software, there is a separation from the data that's in, um, stored in a database and the front end that you use to view the data. And that is true of MySQL. It's not true of Microsoft's version, um, not surprisingly. So we need a top, uh, we need a front end to look at our data. So I did MySQL Windows front end. I'm sure there's a shorter link to this. Uh, this has been asked before on Stack Overflow. So here's an article. And it turns out that the MySQL guys have a front end. So we're going to go ahead and use that. It has some prereqs. Um, Remember this guy? He was complaining I didn't have of that. So it actually links you to the place where you can download and install these. That's nice. So we will install prerequisites. And so we're good there. It's already been installed. I think I installed that for something I was doing with Python. I forget which. I think I already have this too. Uh, I have a 64 bit version of my operating system, so I'm going to go with that. Um, so you need to know a version of the operating system. You got 32 bit or 64 bit. The ARM is for well, if you were putting it on your Raspberry Pi, then that's an ARM processor. And this may take a moment. So this is one of the joys of mucking about with freeware. You know, you get to spend some time on installation. It's not going to be just a one-click process here. All right, so we got that set up. Back up. And... <clears throat> Again, the 64-bit version. Complete. Give me the whole thing. Pretty much can't screw up a software install if you go with the defaults. Well, you can, but it takes a bit of effort. All right, I'm going to pause while this is doing its thing. Oops, yes, I do want you to install. 
All right, well, I finished doing all that. So we're good to go. All right, so in the next video, I'm actually gonna show you how to use this to make a simple database. And then we're gonna start looking at um, using some command line tools also. So, all right, get the software installed and we can get to work.